some chick, some chick, wow. Wam 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 wam. Wam 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 wam. Some chick, some chick. Welcome, classic rock fans, to another episode of Classic Gig Revisited. And for this gig, I'd like you take I'd like to take you back to 2002. I think it was November 2002, where I saw uh, ZZ Top at the Hammersmith Odeon. Um, uh, an interesting gig, really, because I mean, in those days, of course, I used to hang around the stage doors and things like that to get stuff signed. Uh, um, now you can't do that at the Hammersmith Odeon anymore. It's now that I think it's the event of Apollo now, but you can't. Do that because that's all sort of um, um, fenced off. I think you can't get down to the stage door. But in those days, years ago, you used to be able to get down to the stage door. I remember waiting there to see Tull and other bands. But so we actually we got round to the stage door because it was quite early on. The security hadn't sort of uh, started work yet, I suspect. But and um, Billy Gibbons turned up very early. Um, I don't know why, but he turned up very early, and I managed to get this record signed by him. I don't know if you can see that. I remember there was a guy waiting with us, uh, me and my friend, uh, he was obviously a, a really big ZZ Top fan. And it's it's funny, when we was getting stuff signed, um, uh, Billy Gibbons refused to sign the album, um, I think you know the I think the one with them in the desert. I think that's the one he refused to sign. I don't know why. It's uh, I don't know if anyone can answer that question. But anyway, this guy we were waiting with was a huge ZZ Top fan. You know, we got on quite well, and I think I kept in touch with him for a, a short while after the ZZ Top gig. But um, I lost touch with him now, unfortunately. If you're watching this, uh, please click like, subscribe, and leave me a message. But um, anyway, we finally got in. We didn't have great seats. We were kind of right at the back, but uh, you know, ZZ Top. Um, had that kind of stage thing with the, the cactuses and uh, I think there was a screen behind them but they um, they started off with Tube Snake Boogie if I remember they went straight into things like uh, they did Pin Cushion, Got Me Under Pressure which is a great song from the Eliminator album I mean I'll be honest with you when I went to see this gig I mean I only really knew sort of Eliminator and a few of the well known songs but uh, Jesus Left Chicago, Waiting for the Bus I'm Bad, I'm Nationwide Beer Drinkers, Hell Rise, Hell Raises, Rough Boy uh, cheap sunglasses, of course. Uh, I got paid. Um, Give me all your loving, sharp dress man legs. Those uh, Eliminator uh, songs got the, the the biggest response from the crowd, I think. And the the encore was uh, Lagrange and Tush, was what the band finished off with. Um, uh, I, I enjoyed it. I really. Uh, I mean, I'd kind of like to see ZZ Top again. Um, uh, the friend I was with at the time, he he felt that it was a bit dull and a bit samey in terms of the the music, really. But uh, um, I really enjoyed it. Anyway, that was ZZ Top at the Hammersmith Odeon in November 2002. Were you there? If you were, please tell me something about your experiences of that gig. Please click like, subscribe, check out the Facebook page, but thank you for listening. <laughs>